Okay, so we are done with the first page. Let's look at the second page. The second page, uh, the way I design it, uh, describes the following. There's a picture or an image up here. There is another box here with the words what to do. And it's one, two, three, four different columns. And at the very bottom, there should be a black border. Let me look at the next page. The next page also has a black border down here. And it also has an image over here. And it also has a box here and something that says where to stay. And the last one does have a border down here, but it does have two images to sandwich the word come out and play. Okay, so let's work on this image or on this design rather. Okay, let's go ahead and navigate in and on InDesign to the next page. To go to the next page, I'm simply going to go ahead and click on this button to go to the next page and it shows me page number two and page number three. Now, if you recall, the design that I want to achieve for the next two pages has a black border down here. Okay. For that, I'm going to go ahead and open up this area right here, which will show me the pages. These are none and a master and then it shows you a thumbnail of the other pages. I'm going to double click on a master. This view allows me to see left and right hand side pages. So if I put anything here, it will go ahead and be adopted by the left hand side page and the right hand side page. So I am going to go ahead and select my object tool here, the one that is a rectangle. And I'm going to go ahead and click, hold and drag. And then I'm going to go ahead and go back to the color here. And I'm going to choose, because I want to choose black, I'm going to go ahead and choose black. Then click OK. Now I have a bar at the bottom that extends both the left hand side and the right hand side page. Because I want to show that over and over. Now when I go over here to pages again, and then I look at page two and three, you'll be able to see that the left and the right hand side have both a solid line below that. Okay, next I'm going to go ahead and bring from the rulers, the guides. Now, if you're not looking at your rulers, perhaps your rulers are hidden. To show the rulers, just go to view, show rulers. Then go to the ruler on the top, hold, and then bring it to the space where you want the picture to be or wherever you want the guide to show. And our sketch, we have a picture right here that comes down four inches on the page and on this page as well. And we're going to have a little box with text on it. So I'm going to go ahead and create that scenario just now. Okay. Now, which layer should I be? Let's go ahead and open our layers. I'm going to click the objects off so this is locked and I'm not able to mess around with it. And I'm going to unlock the images because the images are going to be placed inside this layer. Okay, I got some images that I borrow from a website that allows you to borrow images. And I'm going to go ahead and now place them here. Okay, to bring that image, I'm just simply going to go ahead and copy the image from the source that I'm getting it from. And then I'm going to go up here and then select Edit paste. Now that I paste it, I can go ahead and move it. And since it's a pretty good quality, I can go ahead and select my free transform tool, hold the shift key, and then I can go ahead and locate it exactly where I want it to be. Now you're not going to be able to do that with all images. So be careful. You have to have a really good quality image to in order for you to go ahead and make it look larger the way that I just did that. It's always a good idea to go smaller, but not really to go larger but because I have really good quality images I'm able to do so I'm able to scale it up okay I'm bringing the other image I am going to go ahead and select my direct selection tool and then my free transform tool hold the shift key and I'm gonna go ahead and go past that there you go and since I want this to bleed I'm gonna go ahead and bring this also all the way past the bleeding edge okay here we go free transform tool holding still a shift key so you see how it goes past that I'm gonna go ahead and line it using my arrows going up a little bit better then I'm gonna go ahead and bring this up a little bit because we have some bleeding edge remember okay and then my free transform tool again make it a little bit bigger 
Okay, so now I have laid out the images that I want. Now I'm gonna go ahead and bring the color boxes and put the text inside those boxes here and here. Okay, to bring the text boxes and text, I'm gonna go ha have to show you this on the next movie. Okay, so see you in a little bit.